Hey guys, Wyler here from Wyler Music, and today I'm going to be showing you how I create interesting bounciness and rhythms in my songs. So right here we have just a simple beat I made earlier, and we're going to transform it from this into this. So let's see what's going on. So this, these are our drums here. Let's just take a listen to the rhythm here. Now let's hear these chords. So you can see here on the filter frequency, you can see that it's, it's disabled here. And that's because it is controlled by a Max device. So this is only possible within Ableton Live 10 suite. So if we go back up to our drums again, we can see here that I made a audio effect rack. One is the output and the others are disabled through the output. But before the output, we have a glue compressor that is just taking the kick down a little bit so it's not too dynamic and then we have an envelope follower now this is another key thing well the key thing too and then if we look at the envelope follower we'll see that it's following the envelope of this chain here so if you look closely i'll turn off the kick to none turn on the compressor again so this envelope follower is attached to the frequency of the auto filter on this track here so that's how you create those interesting rhythms and then over here on our second track, Bounce High, this auto filter is attached to the snare. And right here, I created a return track just having the snares. So if you go to your drum rack and you click on Return, the little R button here, it'll show this. And you can right click, create return track. And you can call it whatever. I'll do kick here. I only have one kick, so it's not that useful and I can map it to beat, kick, and yeah. So from this snare, we have an envelope follower, and this one's going to bounce high, envelope follower, and we can see here. So, yeah. Now you might be wondering, oh, okay, I don't have Ableton Live 10 suite. That's okay, if you have Ableton Live 10, light you can do this too i think it's only possible with the compressor glue compressor anything with a sidechain ability so over here if we click this orange button here and open up the filter click sidechain go to our drums drums and then you can see here i made a 1 8 delay chain that's to create that same rhythm we had before. I'll show you right now. Down here on our drum track, one eighth delay. So it's a little older way of achieving this effect. I probably spelled achieving wrong. And then we could just go here to add a delay. This is Ableton's new delay. And I added one eighth. Feedback set to zero. And then draw it all the way up. And go back to our track and I'll turn the envelope all the way up so it will be affected and then we'll take a listen. So this way has the added benefit of having the ability to control the frequency but the only reason 
that I like to do it the other ways because you have more control of the output and it's more visually pleasing so you can see what's going on and you can attach it to any parameter you want from a synth to anything you want so this is just like a little basic way of doing things and then you might have heard before that we have this like crystallized like high pitch effect in the background and that is used with an aux return so on our bounce mid bounce high and the old school way we all have these sending to this one aux return the h1 call it crystal and this one is just a green delay with a pitch at 12 a little randomization high spray low frequency so it kind of like twirls around and the feedback's pretty high around 56 you can put it wherever you want probably not 100 because it might screech your ears a little bit and then dry wet at 100 time 38 30.8 you can do whatever experiment it's all about experimentation and then uh, this auto filter same thing from before so we'll go back to our drum track and we'll see what's going on so one of these chains called the envelope follower crystal attached to the h crystal aux track and as you can see before we're compressing the kick a bit with that filter set to 200 and then another envelope follower and this time the delay is at a quarter so we'll take a listen to what's going on solo that So anyways, that's mostly it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm going to work some more and I'll give you guys another tutorial on resampling to create even more interesting rhythms in your songs. So that'll be it. I'll see you guys later. Hope you enjoyed. Peace.